Definitely families that go home often come in saying, this is not at all what I expected, right? Especially again, around, I would say basic things like getting the nurse to come. Like they thought, okay, like everyone said, I was going to get 12 hours of nursing, but I didn't realize that, you know, half the time they don't show up or, you know, half the time the nurse is sleeping or, you know, that they don't feel comfortable leaving their child at home with that nurse. I think, you know, there's an assumption, again, that it's going to be sort of the same as the hospital and they go home realizing that it's not. And a lot of that onus and responsibility is on them. Um, I think, you know, families definitely, you know, feel angry, you know, about the situation. I think especially for um, families that have other children, right, siblings of children with medical complexity, they they often come saying they underestimated how much that impact would have right, on the rest of their family. The first thing we always do is acknowledge that, right, that and validate that, you know, I can't imagine what it feels like, you know, to be in your situation. And I can understand like why you have all these feelings. And that doesn't, you know, mean that you love your child any less, right? That you care about your child any less because it's challenging. Um, and that, you know, we are going to try to work together and make this as best situation we have under the circumstances that we're in. When we hear that from families that it's really challenging, we do, you know, try to think through all the different options with them, right? Again, with respite care, with putting them, you know, putting their child maybe in a facility for a short term. And I think that's a really challenging decision. I think it's always about, again, validating the family and, you know, reiterating that it does not at all mean that they care about their child any less. Cause I think that's what a lot of them do feel when they're, when they're at that crossroads, it's exploring, you know, what part of this, like, do you feel like is the most challenging, right? Is it the logistics around your other child care? Is it the finances? I think trying to really nail down at which things, you know, could we potentially address, right? Like by either referring to some type of other at-home supports, referring, you know, for mental health support, you know, for the family. Um, and I think it's, again, being really honest about what the options are and what the life is like. Um, and, you know, I think it's been really helpful in my experience to be able to connect families when possible, right, in either similar situations or from similar cultures or backgrounds to really understand, you know, how how other families maybe were able to navigate it or, or make it work. You know, when you ask me that question about things people are surprised about, I think just again, basic things like I didn't realize how hard it would be to like take a shower, right? Like, or I didn't realize how hard it would be to get to an appointment, you know, like once I'm home, all the things I have to consider getting my child out the door with all the equipment, with being safe, Again, issues of transportation, I think those are the things that surprise people. And that's what we try to like, again, practically go through at the discharge. Like once you go home and when there's an emergency, like who are you gonna call, right? And like, what are the different steps you're gonna take? Is there a neighbor who can take your other children, right? Like just really trying to go through these scenarios. I know my hope is in the future that there's you know more resources even within the hospital for parents to, kind of simulate these different scenarios that they can work through it, just like we do as clinicians, right? We do a lot of simulations, right? On, on different like acute scenarios in the hospital. I hope that there's a way that families can kind of do that too, so they can feel most prepared if that situation arises.